Hey guys, so today I got a video about performance, the ultimate in performance. And if you're looking to get the ultimate in performance on your mid drive, this video is for you. Um, it's a cheap way how to get the most performance you can to possibly, and yeah, do it, do it cheaply. So if you're familiar with mid drives, if you own your mid drive, you know it's all about gear ratios. Gear ratio is, that's how you get your performance. You got this little tiny motor that pumps out one horsepower it's still an electric motor doesn't mean just because it's electric that it has infinite power like a tesla does or something it still is one horsepower and it needs a transmission to really utilize that 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 little power and so that's where mid drives really shine is that you get to multiply the power through the chain and into your rear cassette this is your front chain you get a chain ring. This is the size of a wheel. If you, if you remember your physics class in high school, it's just a wheel divided by, you know, either a big wheel, this, this is going to spin faster or slower. And then if you put it on a big wheel, it's going to go really fast, but you're going to need a lot more power to make this go fast. So the cheapest way, the best way to get the most performance, you could just keep a stock chain ring, which is generally 44, 46 to something like that is just replace this, your rear cassette or freewheel. Like this one, for example, is an 11 tooth. The smallest one is 11 teeth. That's your high gear. That's gonna be for your high speed cruising. Your low gear here, this one is a 32 tooth, I believe. So that's gonna be your low speed. Some people call it the granny gear. This is gonna be for hill climbing. Now, if I were to make this a lot bigger, all of a sudden, like say that I went from a 32 tooth to a 50 tooth and it was out here and this circumference was really big, I'm gonna have crazy hill climbing, crazy towing ability. You know, I could probably even make this thing wheel, like, you know, do a wheelie. And this is a very long bike, which is very difficult to do usually. But now that may be, it may be geared too low. So what I could do is put a 52 tooth up here and put an 11 to 50 tooth back here. Now I still have, I got a big, big chain ring up here that when I'm in my highest gear, this thing will cruise, you know, I could easily pedal, pedal along at probably 40 miles an hour, which is very dangerous by the way, on a bicycle to be going 40 miles an hour. I just want to say that. But if I have a 52 tooth here and a 50 tooth here, I'm still going to have really good hill climbing. I'm going to be able to tow everything. I'm going to be able to go. I'm going to be able to have the best of both worlds where I could have awesome low end grunt, but still be able to have a very high end cadence speed. Like if you're on the open road, if you're doing some bike packing, some touring and you, there's no one on the road and you got a beer, big clear paved trail and you could do 30 miles an hour and you want to pedal along at it. That's when you want to have a big gear up front and a small gear in the back. So my ideal setup probably would be 46 or 48 tooth up front in, in the Lecky variant. Lecky doesn't make a 48 tooth as of yet, as of this video, but I would probably put a 46 tooth Lecky up front. And then depending on your, your setup back here, whether you have a, you know, this is a nine speed. Generally nine speeds, it's a lot harder to find a, something with an 11 to 40 tooth gear ratio on a nine speed usually you see those more on like 10 11 12 speeds but you can still find i think i even had a couple like 42 two so 11 to 42 so that's still gonna be really good hill climbing so i could make this i could put a bigger one up here so that i get a much bigger range of gears hopefully that's all making sense to you guys but this you could get you know, a big one for maybe 70 bucks for a really high end one, for something that's, you know, good quality made one, you could get them as cheap as probably 40 bucks. So this one is definitely cheaper than replacing this. If you guys know these Leckies, they run up to $200 plus. They start at about 50 bucks for a really small one. And then the bigger size you go, they just get incrementally exponentially. I think I want to say exponentially um, more expensive. I guess aluminum is just that much more expensive. I don't know. So if you want the cheapest upgrade 
in performance to your bike. Don't worry about power. People are always like, oh, should I go? I want to over volt it. I want to get, don't worry about 48 or 52 volt. It's all about gear ratio. Figure out a way to get this set up in the gear ratio that's going to benefit you for your style of riding. And for easily under a hundred bucks, possibly you could have crazy performance machine. Now it's very important that you ride your mid drive properly, be in the correct gear at all times. You don't want to be in your highest gear when you're at a stop stone, stop sign, you know, when you're in your car and you come up to a red light, you don't take off in fourth gear. Same thing on your bike. You want to be in first gear, maybe second gear. Anyways, hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, if you're interested, I talk about stuff like this all the time in my consultations. Um, if you have more questions and you want one-on-one -on -one guidance on how to, you know, what parts to buy, how to improve your performance. If you have an issue with your install, book a consultation on johnnynerdout.com. And yeah, I'll help you. Cool guys. Have a good one. Later.